Page six, Innocence. This is A2 number five. Three four time with one flat it's in the key of F major. Now we have these 16th note things going on in the right hand. That's most, I think, what the etude is about. Let's talk about right hand first. Just fourth finger on each of these, there's a sequence going down. This, this, this. And we figure it the same way. And when you start learning these pieces, I suggest you think, play it all legato, just to make sure we got the fingering okay. And then, now fifth finger, and this is just a scale. And I recommend accent the beat right now, just and if you want to uh, exaggerate the accent. Going on, third finger, there's other fingerings, but this is fine, and fourth finger. These are B naturals here. And they give you accents here. Let's go on to the third line after the endings there at the third measure you hear two one. And use that fingering here. And then going on the next line you have an eight VA over, so you're gonna keep going. And thumb again. And now it's again it's just a scale starting on the C, accent the beat. You have to reach up a little bit for the hit, and then fourth, and again, the scale. Accent the beat, just to start, it helps to keep it smooth. If you're really struggling with keeping these smooths, it means you're not doing the scales like you should be, but you can also just accent every other note. eighth note and drop the wrist on the accents don't play with a stiff wrist and as you get faster and faster then you accent other notes it's every four notes left hand is all supporting keep the left hand soft it's chords and here and the second line first measure I would like I don't typically like to change fingerings and etudes because a lot of time the fingering is part of the etude but occasionally it comes up. And here, second line, first measure in left hand, I recommend, I want to connect the C sharp to the D. I don't want to slide off. That's really hard and really difficult and really dangerous. And yeah. So I would recommend for that F, A, C sharp, finger at 5, 4, 2. And you can connect it. Just connect that, you can't connect these. So it's here, here, I mean you can do that here, you can, the second chord you can figure that, 5, 4, 2, if you want, or you can wait until the other one, it's up to you, but I would figure that, that so I can connect it here, and then just stay there. I do a 5-4-1 on the last major second line. They're not using the D, I mean, you, but that's the finger. I use. And then here, the thumb. Put the hands together slowly, it's here. And again, I still recommend you accent these beats. line first measure here lift, lift up that quarter note when you play the B natural right there and then second measure they're both eighth notes so forth once you got a handle of that then go ahead and put in these articulation things 
slurs and staccatos. Again, third line first measure, that's a staccato, but not in the left hand, or not in the right hand, not in one of the hands, you'll figure it out. Right there. But in the second measure, you can play them both the same. They're not both marked staccato, but you can play them the same. Just get off. Now, going on, this third line after the endings, this third measure. Legato on the left, but you got these. Staccatos and slurs in the right. And here. And this is staccato, but this is not. So watch that. Once you can sort of do that, and then try the dynamics. It starts out soft. The dynamics apply to the right hand. Keep the left hand out of the way. It's just supporting. This is soft. And you're going to crescendo up to here. So. Like so. And then the second one, you're going to start soft and crescendo up to that, that, to, to the end. Right there, that B. That's where you want it. back down to soft again but you're going to crescendo it doesn't say how far or how long or nothing it just says crescendo I recommend you take this a measure at a time the first this measure will be soft a little louder now accent and louder and now you're going to come back down diminuend so when you go back to the top you're soft again Now, after the second ending there at the third line here, and you're getting softer. This is soft and leggero. That's lightly. Lightly and yeah. The trick here is keeping that left hand soft enough so you're not overpowering the right because the tendency is going to get heavy. At least for me it is. You got to watch. Next line, we're going to take two measures to get loud. Take your time. Don't get loud to the third measure. Now you're loud. And that's the right hand. Keep the left hand a little softer. And then you're going to get start getting softer here. And then that, the last bit of that run, you go back up to loud. Here. Then you'd repeat that back up to the soft. So forth. So add the dynamics. Keep it as slow as you got to, to go in order to keep it under control when everything's happening. I would suggest you get to know it well enough you can kind of get into the feeling, even though it's an etude. I mean, it's got a little bit of a music message to it. And then you can think about the speed. They give you a metronome marking. Maratos in the middle somewhere. It doesn't have to be that metronome marking. It could be most anything. So you decide on. on the, I'm, I know there's recordings of these etudes available, and I don't really want to have to play them for you. I'm too lazy for that. But you, you get an idea. But I, So, and then on the third line after the endings, this is sweet. That's my impression about how it goes. go. This is a really nice, fun piece. But accuracy is more important than speed, so you take it at your moderato, not mine.